so Simplicity is um, a kind of uh, next generation scripting language. It's very low level. It has formal provability. And it was proposed, I think, in 2012 or something on IRC by Russell O'Connor. And he's been working on it at Blockstream for some years now. So yeah, it's very low level and it enables you to implement things directly in a relatively compact fashion and then size and speed optimize them later. So it, it could sort of be the last soft fork or something, right? And you know, particularly something like Schnorr signatures could be implemented directly in Simplicity with use of jets, which are kind of library functions that are implemented natively. Bitcoin script. So today Bitcoin has a smart contracting language, very simple language, which is a predicate that allows you to spend a Bitcoin. And Simplicity is a alternative script which is more general. So it's uh, more extensible and allows you to do more flexible things. So Bitcoin script is got of large operations like uh, is a digital signature valid and things like that, the most, most common operations. Simplicity is a very low-level language, so it's actually lower than assembly language in the sense that it's talking about very low-level objects like bits and bit strings and sets and mathematical operators and combinators. Um, but it is designed to be formally verifiable. So because it has formal semantics, you can describe its behavior mathematically and mathematically reason about it using automated tools or semi-automated tools. And that's interesting because we want to get much higher assurance of what smart contracts are actually going to do, and not just in the cases that we can imagine and think about, but in all possible cases and make strong statements about that. You know, the ambition originally with this, bearing in mind that simplicity as a concept predates Blockstream by a couple of years. So the original ambition was to build a second generation script system for Bitcoin by Russell O'Connor. And Russell O'Connor has been involved in Bitcoin since uh, at least 2012, maybe 2011, and implemented a, a version of Bitcoin in Haskell, which is a more tightly defined language. Um, and so it was just sort of reflections on the design of Bitcoin scripts and how he would ideally want to design a replacement script that is more flexible, but still provides high security assurances. Our idea is that while we will uh, try it out in Elements and Liquid and you know, deploy it in Liquid so that people can use it for Liquid assets and self-custody trustless exchange mechanisms in Liquid, um, and prove out the technology uh, so that you know, if there's interest eventually that might find its way back into Bitcoin.